Um, anyway, uh, Nick had posted a mock draft, and uh, no one here really agrees with it, I would say. <laughs> like, everyone was kind of like, you know what, we got to give our top ten, like, what we think is going to happen in this mock draft. Uh, so... I, uh... I was inspired by reading some mock drafts that uh, were kind of ridiculous. So <laughs> yeah, you think? For those for for those of you that might not know, uh, the origins of a mock draft is these people that put these lists together from having sources and talking to NFL teams. It's not really who they think is the best player and whatnot. It's what they're being told by the teams. So what I did is I put a mock draft together based on a few things. Right, I factored in. Uh, team need, best available player, scheme fit, surrounding pieces, and future outlook. In particular, looking at contracts. And then I put together a top 10, uh, including the Jets being in the three slot because of the trade with the Colts. Big trade. All right. Well, uh, let's just go like pick by pick. Yeah. So if you want, Nick, you want me to read your picks or you want to read yours? I mean, no, nah, I'll read mine. Uh, I, so I got Cleveland taking Sam Darnold. At number one. I feel um, like a lot of mocks have that. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, a lot, a lot of people have that. A lot of people are comparing him to a sure thing like Andrew Luck. Uh, yesterday at his pro day, he decided to still throw in uh, crazy weather conditions. Like it was a downpour. And he looked pretty good. And I'm not somebody that gets excited or gets a boner over a quarterback pro day. Because when I hear people say, oh, he went 77 of 80 at his pro day. Like, yeah, I would hope so. You're throwing on air. There's no defense out there. So, yeah, I would hope you connected on all your passes. But he got to do it in a pretty pretty much a downpour, and uh, he looked pretty good. And, you know, a lot of people are concerned about the turnovers, but, I mean, the USC team wasn't as good as people expected. So I, I had Donald going number one to the Cleveland Browns. Did anyone else have different? No, I, I, Donald number one, but yeah. I mean, he, after I agree with Nick that that rain show yesterday was really beneficial to him. But then again, you got to remember, these are the Browns, and the Browns do brownie things. I hate this shit. No matter how much brown, do no matter how many new people you want to get in there, their picks will be the browniest picks of all time. So they could do the right thing and get Sam Darnold, or I want to say Darno so bad because of Travis Darno, mm-hmm. Sam Darnold. But don't be surprised if they take Josh Allen, man. I, I I don't I would not be surprised if they if they took Josh Allen and they just took that physical freak with the big arm that is definitely not going to pan out if he goes to Cleveland. I I can see it happening. I'm I'm with Nick on this one. Me too. For another reason. Well, not for another reason, but in the stands during this this said pro day was the Browns owner Jimmy Haslam, GM John Dorsey, uh, head coach Hugh Jackson and offensive coordinator Todd Haley. Um, there were photos of the owner sitting with uh, Sam uh, Darnold's uh, parents as well. So all signs kind of are leading to Sam Darnold. So I'm with Nick with number on number one. Browns taking Sam. That'd be huge. Uh, all right, Nick, what do you got at two? So at two, I got the Giants taking Josh Rosen. Um He's the youngest of the bunch of all the quarterbacks that are eligible. Um, he had a down season, but his team was pretty bad also. They fired the offensive staff midway through the year. A lot of injuries to the offensive line. He was uh, the the ringleader behind the biggest comeback in college football history well, when they won opening weekend of the, the season. Mm-hmm. I just like his game. I think as a passer, no one no one is close to him. Uh, he's undersized compared to Darnold, and he's had some concussion issues. And if I'm the Giants, the Giants historically don't draft in the top five. They are one of those franchises that they they are in the teens and closer to 20 than they are to 10. And any chance you have to be in this position, I think you should look for the future, right? A lot of people want Barkley. A lot of people want other things. But I think Rosen sets you up for success 12 to 15 years, where Barkley is going to set you up for success for Four to five. If you go by how elite, how a, a running back stays at an elite level in his career, so I got the Giants thinking way, way, way down the road and taking Rosen here. See, I'm not. I, I'm in the other camp. I think the Giants think that they're still in it, and I think that they are. Mm. I think if you look at the Giants, like they Odell Beckham got hurt last year, and they got they had zero playmakers on offense. Right now, you add Saquon Barkley, and what you have is a situation where now you've added a left tackle and shoulder, 
right, who is a great run blocker, you have another dimension to your offense. So when you have a guy like Sterling Shepard on one side and you have OBJ on the other side, right, it's going to be harder for the safeties to key in on them if a guy like Saquon Barkley, who, by the way, has – who's the other guy in ESPN, not Mel Kuyper? Todd McShay. Todd McShay. He has him as the highest grade of a running back since Adrian Peterson. He's the second highest player in general that he's ever graded out. Like that – now, yeah. that's not regular. And if you're the Giants and you have a chance to, okay, we can get the we can get a franchise quarterback. This is not 1996. You can – draft well, a quarterback and if and if your quarterback is your problem you're going to be drafting in the top picks right i know you don't usually get a, a chance to be in, in the top two but if your quarterback is the problem if you're not doing anything on offense that's going to be the same reason so i, I think that the, i think the giants they go with saquon barkley here because they see themselves still as a contender them spending the money on Solder shows that they still believe in in eli and they think that if he's protected he can still win some games and I think that they're going to go for that dynamic offensive player. So I think Saquon Barkley will see. But you think – oh, Nick, go, Nick, go. Uh, Odell Beckham got hurt in week four, and they were 0-3 at the time. So his injury – like, they had playmakers up until his injury, and they still lost games. Uh, Not nearly as badly as they lost later. And you got to understand – remember, like, he was also going through some, some, like, media shit. He was injured, like, not on the field, but he was distracted. He was – Proposing to Nets and shit, like that was the year before. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Either way, um, he's always going through some. You, so, Nick, let me ask you a question: With the trade of JPP for the two draft picks, what do you think? Do you think they're planning for the future, or do you think that they're going to try to parlay those picks? Uh, what do you think they're going to do? So, I I think that they they should trade out. Yeah, I'm. I think they should trade back. Yeah. May, um, so let me say, I think they should take Quentin Nelson, but trade back and go. Yeah. yeah. So, so here's the thing, right? I think Quentin Nelson is of all these these kids in the draft, and it's crazy that I'm calling them kids, but I mean they are like four or five years younger than me. Damn, but, that sucks. Uh, Quentin Nelson is the most guaranteed. Mm -hmm. At worst, at worst, he's gonna be a deserving Pro Bowler. That's like his floor. He's, yeah, this he, dude is. Yeah, like, his ceiling is a Hall of Famer, and you can't say that on, on all these guys. Like, he's the safest pick in the draft, mm -hmm. but it's not fancy, right? Everybody wants the Giants to take Barkley because of what Tim presented. Uh, Shepard on one side, Odell on the other, Evan Ingram at tight end, him in the backfield, fantasy points galore. Here's the thing, man. You can find great running backs in, in later on, right? Kareem Hunt, mm -hmm. day two pick. Rookie of the Year, Alvin Kamara, day two pick. Le'Veon Bell, day two pick. David Johnson, day two pick. Sure, Gurley and Zeke, it ha you, you draft these guys in the top ten for that reason. Fair I understand, net. but it's a position also in a very loaded running back draft. Royce Freeman from Oregon mm -hmm. is super solid. Uh, Nick Chubb, Sony Michelle, like there's a lot of good ass. I would love Sony Michelle mm -hmm. in 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 this uh, in this draft, right? So. I think the Giants should think for the future. And and with JPP gone, I wouldn't be surprised if Bradley Chubb might be in play too. Uh, I would really so not like that. I, why? Why? Pass rushers. Yo, pass rushers, quarterbacks, and offensive linemen is how you win championships. Yeah, but but, but like in That's what how, order though? Quarterback. Find a quarterback, First. protect him. And go after theirs. Yeah, I agree. But that, I agree but, with Nick. That's but exactly. So why the hell would you take Chubb? Like if, if for me, I'm like, yo, I want... A quarterback, Nelson, or get the fuck out of there and trade out. Why the hell are we going to so, take a, a pass rusher? It's not going to do anything. Dude, I'm with you, but the fact that they got rid of JPP now, now you have only uh, Olivier Vernon on one side. You're going to need another pass rusher. I'm almost – oh, sorry, Nico. And I, I think I think Chubb is a beast also. I'm, I'm almost positive that the Giants are going to trade back uh, to a team that needs a quarterback, a la the Buffalo Bills with two first-round picks. I'm calling it now that the Giants are going to trade back, and then they're going to take uh, Nelson, the offensive lineman. At some point, I don't know who they're going to trade back with. Maybe it's maybe it's the Broncos. I don't know who it is, but I think that they're going to trade back and take the offensive lineman. That's my call. That would be great. He wouldn't he wouldn't fall far in some scenarios. No, because well, we'll talk about it next. But the Jets are definitely going to take a quarterback, right? For sure. Right? I mean, it's it's a it's the biggest lock I think ever that the Jets are taking a yeah, quarterback. Yeah, I guess we can go to the trading. Yeah. Not so, so, all right, little segue into the Jets. Do you guys have anything else to say about the two pick? No. Nope. Only that I think your number two pick is going to be the number three pick. 
Do you think the Jets are taking Rosen? I think the Jets are taking Rosen, yeah. I mean, yo, I think he's the best quarterback in the draft. So if that's the case, uh, you guys hit a home run there. So I just want to – just a memo to all Jet fans and all, like, football fans. Stop thinking that a team is trading into the top five and not taking a quarterback. Nah, no, it's not, nah, no way. It's not happening. Like, they're taking a quarterback. Now we need to just guess on who it's going to be. No. I think it's going to be Josh Allen because of the bunch, he's the best remaining, according to my mock draft. And I think that the Jets traded up to get their franchise quarterback. And you can nitpick at it and you could cut ass on the Jets for giving up all they gave up because the Niners gave up one draft pick for Jimmy Garoppolo, right? And the Jets gave up all these picks for, you know, a, a 50-50 proposition here. But if they hit on it and they don't need to worry about a quarterback for 10 to 15 years, you do it every single time. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I tend to agree. I, I think that Rosen's going to be available. I think that if Rosen does go to the Giants, I think Josh Allen is the pick here as well. Um, they, they're definitely getting a quarterback. I'm, I'm kind of a little in love with Josh Allen. He has a ridiculous arm. If you guys go watch any type of film on Josh Allen, a lot of people say his, his stats weren't very good last year. Yeah, they weren't. But you got to remember he was playing for Wyoming, and that offensive line was absolutely atrocious. Just well, completely atrocious. Atrocious. They had they had one good offensive lineman. He got drafted in the sixth round last year. This is a team that hasn't had anyone drafted in the in the first four rounds in over ten years. This is uh, this Wyoming does not have NFL talent. And when he's the only person on that squad, he literally did not take a chance in any of the film I watched to take a five to seven step drop back and have a clean pocket to throw in. He was back and running to either side and still making plays. The, Josh Allen is one of those guys that's like. He's going to either suck royally or he's going to be a superstar. And he honestly, it's going to be fun watching either way. Yeah, he'd fit well in the Jets because of the weather. We were talking about it before. Like giant arm. You need an arm to throw the ball uh, in the Northeast in general. You know, uh, specifically, it's not the Meadowlands anymore, but nonetheless, uh, throwing that ball in New Jersey is 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 terrible. Uh, and so you need a big arm to sort of you know make some passes. So like. It, in, in that way, okay, but a little bit of information. Mike McCagden, Jets GM, was at Josh Rosen's Pro Day, and he was at Baker Mayfield's Pro Day, and then he made the trade up. I personally don't think you do that unless you know who you want. So I think he's going to go – I'm going to agree with Nick. I think he's going to go – I think Josh uh, Josh Allen gets picked here. Uh, not Josh Allen, I'm sorry. Uh, Josh Rosen – uh, yeah, or you're gonna call me crazy, or Baker Mayfield, just because he saw the two pro days, and I don't think you move up unless you know, like it's a confirmation. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, I agree. Right? It's like he saw these two kids. He liked. He probably liked both of them. Or I, I, I don't know. I just don't think you make this move unless unless you know. I also don't think you make this move for Baker Mayfield though. I. Who the or, hell's gonna take Baker Mayfield? Or, hold on, let me. Uh, you, you'd let me, be surprised. Let me channel Tim a little bit and play devil's advocate. Or he saw Rosen and Mayfield's pro days and said, I'm taking Allen because those pro days are hard. We don't know that either. That's true. I, I think Rosen's a target. I think they're comfortable with Allen. I hope they don't have Baker Mayfield. Because, I, listen, I don't think you trade up to three for Baker Mayfield. I think someone's trading up for Baker Mayfield. That's going to come. I'll, I'll tell you guys that about that. Yo, there's later. a chance the quarterbacks go one through four because everyone's scared that someone's going to take them. I don't think the Browns trade out of this pick. I Yo, think they have a they have a they have a chance to get a franchise changing guy, whether it's Barkley, Chubb, or Nelson. They have a chance to get a guy that's going to be a cornerstone of their franchise, plus a quarterback. I don't think they trade out of the number four pick. Teams trade up every year for quarterbacks. Sometimes we're not expecting them. Like, did anybody expect the Chiefs to trade up and take Patrick Mahomes last year? No. I think Arizona is the sneaky team that's going to trade up. This I'm year. telling you, there's like I like I think a lot of teams like these quarterbacks, and they can go. One through four potentially, like Nick's, like Nick's mock. You know, Nick has Baker Mayfield dropping a little bit, and and I guess we'll talk about that. You know, as we go down the list, but I I think that you know teams are worried, they're scared. This is the year to take a quarterback, and 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 you have to put the pressure on, and you're gonna move up. Yo, you know, it'd be fire if Cleveland takes two quarterbacks in the top four, and then, because then you can't go wrong. <laughs> uh, or like when they're on, or when they're on the clock at four, and say like Josh Allen is still out there or Rosen, they just tell people like. Like they, they make Adam Schefter tweet out that they're taking him, and then then you're gonna see a crazy ass yeah. trade package to come they're up. They're gonna find some way to fuck this up. Yo, I do that in fantasy sometimes. Like I'll take a second quarterback, Matt Early, be like, someone's gonna want him. Send me <laughs> offers. Send like, me offers. Like week yo, six, I'm gonna get some shit yo, for this. Yo, Tim, Tim. Yo, 
I think you need to cut back on they're going to mess this up because they finally got a guy that's yeah. had experience in that position. Yo, the last race game were from the Mets. <laughs> a different sport. That's true. <laughs> and the fucking Mets on top of that. Like, at least get the Yankees guys. Yeah, You're going right? to go to the like, fucking Mets <laughs> to get your football scouts? <laughs> <laughs>